So late last month, I met with John Beeble of the new indie niche brand, The January Scent Project, and we shot a video together. Mostly I shot a video of him talking about his three fragrances. They're called Smolder Rose, Eider Rantler, and Selpernico. Those are three different ones that he's launched. And he's also going to do a giveaway of the fragrances, which we're going to talk about after the video with him. So please stay tuned. Hi, I'm John Beevil, and I'm the creator of the January Scent Project. And I began uh, working in perfume as a um, outgrowth of my interest as a writer, since I write for Fragrantica, and also as an artist, uh, in which I you know, do a lot of mixing of different media, uh, primarily paint. But um, I saw a lot of kinship between the two. And as I began to interview various perfumers, and attend conferences and smell a lot of perfume, um, I realized that what I was really interested in was the chemistry in what made these different scents all together. So I started to explore that and it began a very long process, a number of years of study on my own. And um, it took a lot of time, probably about four to five years of uh, really close investigation and um, studying certain accords and certain formulas until I felt good about certain perfumes that I created that I wanted to move forward with and actually produce. The process through which I create work um, begins with the ingredients as something that inspires me. There's, there's certain key ingredients that are, are very, um, they, they lend you to want to create certain things. And then I also have in mind a certain destination of where I'd like a perfume to end up, what, what an ideal is. And I find that there's this long road between the two and it can change and you just have to meet somewhere in the center between the two. So um, it's really a, a combination of both things where you um, are affected by um, the quality of your materials and the different properties they have and also the original idea of what you'd like to produce in the end. Um, so the journey changes a bit along the way and you end up somewhere happily, I think, in the middle between the two. The first one I created was a perfume oil called Smolder Rose, and uh, this was a really simple idea for me at first, which was to try to combine the essence of roses and smoke together into a perfume. And um, what was interesting for me about it is it was very, it was a dual exercise. It was like creating two perfumes and then just merging them together. And um, it was great to begin my work because uh, it was sort of like a science experiment of trying to do recreation and then about combination and um, to allow both of them to exist and yet not cancel each other out was really quite a challenge. Later on, um, when I wanted to make it into a spray eau de parfum uh, in alcohol, I had to make some major changes to the formula. Uh, it ended up reducing a lot of the elements in the formula and it was really surprising. It opened up the perfume and it became, I think, a lot more floral, but still smoky. So I learned a lot about how to reduce some of the heaviness of the first perfume in order to make it um, a spray perfume. I'll tell you about the other two. Um, the second perfume I worked on is one called Eider Antler. And um, to tell you a bit about the name and the names generally, they are not words that are really in any particular language, but I tend to sort of take bits of words and put them together. And in this case, I was taking a, a Norse word of um, eider, like the duck, and antler, like antlers on an animal, <laughs> and creating sort of a, uh, a new hybrid creature of sorts. And for me, it's very much about the north, uh, northern landscapes, kind of the absurd creatures you might see, like in a Hieronymus Bosch type painting. Um, it was my attempt to learn about fougere and how to create one, and I really wanted to learn Fougere, but I wanted to make one that was intensely green and it smelled like ivy. Um, when you would literally take some ivy and kind of crack it open in your hand and to merge those two smells into one perfume. So it had a bright green opening, but had a Fougere underneath. Um, the second perfume is interesting because I had been working on the green Fougere for so long that anything acidic and green was, was so overloaded in my mind that I really wanted something incredibly smooth, um, lactic, very milky, 
and I moved complete opposite direction and I made um, Zilpernicu, which is this uh, extremely buttery, sandalwood, uh, salty, fruity uh, perfume. Uh, very, very different. It, it used a completely different side of my brain to create it and I used a lot less time to create it. It was far more spontaneous. So this is the bottle for Smolderos. And um, just to describe a little bit for the packaging on these perfumes, um, each of them is um, in a box that has um, ink paintings that I did. And then on the perfumes themselves, the bottles have um, uh, a separate ink drawing um, on the label for each one. Um, I was particularly interested in the labels because I really liked um, the kind of labels you find on wine bottles. So I found a manufacturer who prints uh, wine bottles uh, labels and I had them made for the perfume so they have that same texture. The second perfume is Eider Antler and um, this is also in, the, um, in a box that has the ink wash drawings. This is a little bit more dramatic, kind of the black on green. Um, what I was hoping for and did happen is that the perfume itself became very green in the process, um, all naturally from the ingredients. Um, I like the fact too that it looks a little bit like emerald from <laughs> uh, from the, I guess, 50s, 40s or 50s, but um, also it has its own painting on the label as well to distinguish it. And lastly, this is the box for Sopraniku, which again has its own ink painting on the outside. Um, this one is kind of the lightest of the perfumes in terms of the color. Um, again, its own sort of distinctive painting on the label. Um, and don't be fooled though, because this has the, um, the longest staying power <laughs> and is actually incredibly strong, uh, which I hadn't even planned on, but it happened when I made it. These bottles are 100 mil and are 125. The 30 mil bottles sell for $50 each and can be bought as a set of three for $110. So that's pretty much it. If you want to find out any more information about the January Scent Project, just visit JanuarySent.com for more information or write at info at JanuarySent.com. Thank you. Thanks so much for watching this video with John Beeble of the January Scent Project. As mentioned at the beginning of the video, we do have a giveaway. And the giveaway is basically for uh, one bottle of Smolder Rose, one bottle of Ida Rantler, and one bottle of Self Berniku, as well as one prize of the three fragrances in 30 mils as one prize by itself. So four prizes total. And now is your chance to check out these fragrances, these new fragrances from the January Scent Project. All you have to do is make sure you're subscribed here, put down a comment as to why you want to win, put down also a comment as to which one sounds the best to you, which prize, which scent, and then uh, we'll run the randomizer and we'll um, select the first four people for the prizes or for the giveaway prizes. And also this is a worldwide giveaway, so now is your chance to participate in a giveaway where you've not had a chance because it was world, uh, USA only, but now you have the chance to participate in a worldwide giveaway. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Please like this video, please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one, goodbye.